الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى قال في كتابه الكريم وما خلقت الجن والانس الا ليعبدون الله سبحانه وتعالى says and we have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping them and as this is well known amongst the muslims that our purpose and our creation is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone that this is our purpose we need to remind ourselves and practice that implement that purpose in our lives meaning that when we have difficulty and struggle we return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we realize that it's a form of ibadah when we have to join in join the good and forbid the evil we have to realize it's a type of ibadah it's a type of worship it's a way of coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we give da'wah we give da'wah to Allah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not for the sake of our jama'a or our group or our sect when we interact with other human beings it can be a form of worship so the muslim has a divine purpose to fulfill the muslim comes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and realize all this beauty all the be- beauty of the creation all of this our purpose is not changed goes unchanged by this but rather our purpose is not to be just simply amazed by this creation but it's to reflect and to see these signs and these signs should remind us of Allah that he's the one who created all these things and to him we shall return inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un that Allah created us and to him we shall return that all of us will die all of us will taste death and experience death in our lives meaning that our family members and people who are loved to us people we know and people we don't know everyone's going to die but you have to ask yourself did you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did you actualize the purpose of creation did you follow the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when it came to relying and putting your trust in someone did you put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for this purpose he created us and 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 put us in toil and struggle in order that we would remember him in order that we would have taqwa and to test us in our faith to see which of us would be strong and which of us would be weak and so as a reminder to myself first and foremost and to those listening come back to Allah reaffirm and reestablish your relationship with Allah supplicate to Allah if you put your trust put your trust in Allah fi dastanta fi stain billah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that if you put your trust and put your trust in Allah You know if you rely strictly on anyone rely on Allah. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said ad-du'a huwa ibadah. Supplication is worship. So supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. This is a reminder <clears throat> for myself. And sometimes we become very forgetful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala realizing that all of our blessings they come from Allah. All of the ni'am it comes from Allah all of the creation was created by Allah and it was created why in order that we would worship him and how and and, and remember him subhanahu wa ta'ala so make dhikr often to Allah and strive to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything that i said was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything i said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam 
ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam